selling as if your life depended on it. Now, I'm going to tell you some stuff here that many of you may already be in these situations and they can help you if you can learn how to focus and transfer that pain to action. eBay, which at one point I had a love affair with eBay. I went to the eBay conferences. I had the eBay keychain, all of this stuff. Then eBay fucked us. I bought a unit that had these antique dolls in it. And our sales went from 12, 18,000 a month to roughly 20,000 a week. These dolls were in pristine condition. There was a lot of them and they were selling for a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars. Well, because our selling volume went up, eBay shut down our account. And at the time, eBay and PayPal were one and the same. So the eBay account got shut down and the PayPal account, they held 32 grand. This was all of the money that we had free because we were rolling, we were building the business. So I found myself in a situation with maybe $2,000. There were units out there that had to be cleaned up. Essentially, I had to sell as if my life depended upon it. There is something about having your back against the wall that will either produce outstanding results or you will perish. So I was stressed, my partner was stressed, and I was like, okay, well, this Craigslist thing has always worked out well for us. Let me put it on steroids. So every day I sat at my desk and I put up ads. In the beginning, a small percentage of the ads were working, but most of them weren't working. And then step by step, I began to present. I began to take pictures in a better situation because essentially I created a little stage in the warehouse. So all of the pictures had this wonderful backdrop because I went through direct response marketing and feedback. Okay, why is this ad winning and why is this ad losing? Well, let me put this backdrop. And this is one of the hardest things you have to do about sales is you have to break down each element step by step and test it. Testing the headlines. This headline didn't work. Why didn't this work? It's too short. It didn't have a keyword. It, it was something wrong with it. So once I got my pictures, and the pictures were huge. Pictures are huge for YouTube. Pictures are huge for Facebook. Pictures are huge for Instagram. Pictures have always been huge, and they always will be. So that's one of the first things that I learned to nail down was to get the right picture, to get the right lighting, and sales immediately took a 35% jump once I got that nailed down. Then I worked on headlines. Headlines, it was about a five or 6% bump after the pictures. And it got to the point because I was in a situation where my back was against the wall, I had to produce. I had to sell like my life meant was on the line. It really was. eBay was not coming off of their decision and, and PayPal wasn't releasing that money. It took almost a year to get that money back. A year. I went through the process and I began selling 70% of what I put on Craigslist. Now part of that is knowing what to put on Craigslist, but once again, getting that feedback, washer and dryers at this price point are hot. Well, dining room tables, they, they sell okay if you sell them cheap, but between September and Christmas, they fly. Feedback, taking feedback, taking notes, taking pictures, selling like my life depended on it because my attention span was real high because I had to make some money. I had to make some money. Now, this is one of the hardest things to do. Once we amp down, meaning that we got the sales up, the stress level came down, it was easier to make sales, we had cleared the hurdle, we were able to pay bills, we were able to buy units. In my mind, I'm like, I gotta keep this up. I gotta keep going. So by the fault of eBay taking our 68% of our profits away from us just like that. I learned how to replace those profits and create the process that created the book, Pimping Craigslist for Fun and Profit. Everything that I did 
in pimping Craigslist for fun and profit came from that time period. The photos, learning how to negotiate with different people, it came from that time period. And here's the dividends. If you push upon yourself and you really focus on selling, whatever you're selling, if you're selling insurance, that's a different ball game. You got to play a different game. If you're selling freight, that's a different ball game. But if you learn your business step by step, what you're doing, how you're doing it, what prompts that customer to buy, you will be substantially more successful than the average salesperson in your industry because most of them will not go through this. And it's, uh, I'm not going to lie to you, it's hell. I mean, for six weeks, sweat ran down my back before I even sat in my chair because it was, it was a pucker moment. You know, for six weeks, we're on the verge of going out of business. And then slowly, week six, week seven, we started to come out of the cave. We're making more money on Craigslist than we were on eBay. Uh, that changed how I bought units. I didn't buy the pretty units. I bought the units with heavy, bulky furniture. Feedback, direct response. All of this came from direct response. Posting ads on Craigslist and seeing what people would do. If they didn't respond, the answer to the question was, why didn't they respond? What was wrong? Soft pictures, soft headlines. Realized that long, detailed descriptions meant nothing because people don't read. So I learned to pack the most important information in those first two sentences. I will still write them long because some people read them, but the most important things, first two citizens, banging headline, banging picture, selling 70% of the stuff we put up on Craigslist. Now with that, and let's unpack that and look at it, I had the ability to buy a lot of stuff. I had the ability to take that feedback, go out there to the storage auctions and buy what people were buying, listening to their feedback. This took me six weeks of testing. Six weeks of putting up about 100 ads a day between my five Craigslist accounts. Day in, day out, seven days a week. But let's unpack that, six weeks. This was roughly 2000-ish, two, uh, one, two, something like that. Same time that uh, I got put out because I was homeless. So I have used the stuff that it took me six weeks to learn 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 10 years, 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I've used that stuff of hard work that hard and you put your soul into it and you own those lessons and you become that person, it's going to last you a long, long time. Pimping Craigslist, my second best selling book, it did $500,000. I made money using those tactics for 16 years in various capacities, actively selling like my life depended on it. And then at the end of my selling career, I wrote a book and made another half million. There's not another book like Pimping Craigslist out there. Because once you want to sell like your life depends upon it, you look at sales a totally different way. You don't look at it as like, this is something I got to do. This is something I must create. This is something I must build. This is something that I must become technically proficient at. I am technically proficient at Craigslist. I put out some ads. I put up some of my dirty ads that I wrote 10 years ago, 12 years ago, 13 years ago. They still work to this day. I taught myself copywriting. I didn't even know what it was. I didn't even know what, you know, placing words in a certain manner to produce results. I didn't even know that was called copywriting. I taught myself copywriting after, by writing and putting these ads out. I put these ads up and even with Craigslist, because if you know, you can't put up five or it used to be unlimited. Then they crunk it down where you can only put up five things per account. So I created 10 accounts. So I was still posting the way that I wanted to. Now 
you can only put up one posting per account. So I've got 10 accounts. I put my 10 best performing ads up. Response within 30 minutes, within an hour, same thing. These ads are old. So that's another thing. A lot of you are looking for the new courses, the new thing. Old school tactics have been working for decades for a certain reason. Because they're rooted in wealth building tactics. They're rooted in stuff that doesn't change. Technology changes, cars change. We, we don't change. We have been the same way that we are for hundreds of years and we're gonna be the same that we are for another hundred. Because the human condition, desires, wants, it doesn't change. People want something for nothing. If you're a marketer, you can use that. Uh, do you know these Bitcoin people? You know who's making the most money off Bitcoin? It's not the people buying the Bitcoin. It's the YouTubers who are talking about Bitcoin. There's one, he literally makes $80,000 a month in AdSense. 60 to 80 grand a month in AdSense because these ICOs are putting ads on this channel and he's making a lot of money. Then you have the exchanges, Coinbase. Made a billion dollars last year. What is that saying? During the gold rush, it's best to sell shovels. All these people are in the shovel business. They're not in the Bitcoin business. They're in the shovel business. And I've seen it. So if you want to really make some money, figure out something that you're very determined to do. You don't have to be passionate about it. You have to be very determined where you're willing to work six weeks figuring it out putting up ad after ad, making phone call after phone call. Do, you need to do that. I did that for six weeks and for 16 years I got benefit from my six weeks of maniacal, insane work ethic, putting stuff up, sweating, six weeks. So 16 years for six weeks of activity. It's not a bad deal, it's not a bad deal at all. Now, what I want you to do is to do self-assessment. If you want to be in sales, stop looking for, quote, the best way, best thing to sell. Don't do that. Learn who you are. One of the reasons that I did so well at Craigslist, I loved it. I loved meeting people and selling stuff and making money. It was fun. No one had to force me to do it. So instead of trying to figure out like, you know, what's the best industry to get in? Don't do that. Take a few chances and figure out something that you wanna sell. If you're like a car guy, if you're the type of guy who, and I've seen this from all these car channels, all these guys are car guys, they've loved cars, and they've done very well with cars because they love cars. Do not create a job, a source of income that you hate. That's hustling backwards. So your lesson for this time is to take 10 things. And if you don't know, that's cool, experiment, but find 10 things that you can sell cars, insurance, whatever, and put forth a crazy level of effort and watch what kind of results will happen. I was selling like my life depended on it because it did. And when you apply that type of pressure to yourself, either you're going to win or you're going to lose. That's just it. There's, no, there's not going to be any middle ground. Either you're going to win or you're going to lose. Are you a winner? Can you find that thing? Because one of the things about this course is I'm not telling you how to sell insurance and all this other stuff. Um, Cause I never sold insurance. I can tell you how to sell furniture. I can tell you how to sell digital content. And just to let you know, this is coming. It's called seven figure content. It's going to be a new YouTube channel. It's going to be a book. I'm not putting it out. I'm just letting you know it's coming because all of those sales lessons that I've gotten from rent a crate, uh, business environments and having my own business selling stuff to thousands of people here in Atlanta. It gave me an inside track and it gave me my own methodology and it gave me my own philosophy on selling. You can create that for yourself. You can do that. So you have your marching orders. Get busy. Today, business school is in session. Learn how to make money, increase your wealth. One of the biggest problems I have is that people come to the YouTube channel, they'll see me and they want to get some, but they don't know where to start. So I have solved that problem today. 
If you're brand new, welcome. We're glad to have you. Look forward to serving you a long, long time. If you want to get this knowledge, if you want to start a business, I have created a blueprint, a roadway for you to actually start making changes in your life. Because this is one of the things that I have learned. When I was doing 30 days to 2,500, I learned that there were some people who did better than others. And I was like, why are these people doing better than other people? What's going on with these people? And what I have discovered, and let's see. Let me go ahead and get that. What I've discovered is that people who came in with a business already they did really well with 30 days to 2500 remarkably well it was like mind-blowing for some of them then there were people who didn't do well and these were people who did not have a strong mindset or were not in business so what i've des designed is for you to go through this pathway because essentially when I get someone who's brand new to the channel and they've never had a business, there is so much work that has to be done. I mean, I know there's folks on the internet that makes owning the business, run the business look super easy and it's not. And it's one of the most complicated things that you will do in your life. But once again, People want the path of least resistance. That is not what we're going to have. So we're going to go here and we're going to go under. All right. So this is where you start. This is the uh, blueprint. First thing you're going to do is get the hustler's mindset, pimp your mind for success. That's your free audio book. That's where you're going to start getting that mind correct. Then you're going to move to this money management, the basics of finance and wealth development. Before you get new money, you must optimize the money you already have. If you, as it was said in the part of the live stream this morning, if you don't manage a little bit of money, well, you're not going to manage a lot of money. Well, it's the same person. The only thing that changes is the money. Look at the number of athletes who go broke because they've never learned how to manage money. They never learn how to compartmentalize, how to do the five check and account blueprint. They've not done that. So this is the, the first course you need. And I keep telling everybody that. I've had a lot of people who take this course and they booked the a consult because they wanted to know more. So this is the course that you need. Then after that, we're going to go to the third course, Becoming the Boss. You have to make this mental shift about being into a producer mode. So this is the third course you'll take. And one of the things that I've done is I've priced this stuff so well that, you know, there, there is a few of you who are kind of sitting back who are emailing me like, hey, I want to buy these courses. What's the best price you can give me? That never works. Those deals never materialize because they were required for me to sit on email and go back and forth with people all day. And it just typically doesn't work out. Uh, the courses are so economical. All right. This is what you're going to get after becoming the boss. This will be your fourth course. Uh, the Power of Six Productivity Course. This course will help you get stuff done. This is a habit that you need to develop, how to manage your time, how to get stuff done. When you start a business, there's going to be so many things to do that this course will help you learn how to get stuff done, how to, what's the priority, what's not priority. This course will do it for you. All right. 
So the fifth course you will get scripted days. This is a life-changing course. I think it's too cheap, but I want you guys to benefit. It will give you the power of written manifestation. It will straighten out your uh, bad habits. It will put you on the path of productive success. It will teach you how to, you know, set up a morning ritual, set up an evening ritual, a lot of things. This will be the fifth course. Now, these five courses in the free audio book will build a foundation. When I was doing 30 Days for 2500, I had some students do amazingly well, and some students struggled. The people who did well already had A, a business, or B, a superior mindset. The foundational courses will give you the superior mindset. Let's say you're a person who wants to start a business but have no clue to where to start. This next section is for you. Typically, business success comes from practicing business skills. One of the best ways to do that is by reselling. You got to get your feet wet. This is where you will start with the reselling courses. Uh, this is a collection that gives you the storage auction book, the pimping Craigslist stuff, all of this stuff to get you geared for resale. How to have a great garage sale, all that. Now, once you've gotten the first five courses, your next move will be 30 days to 2,500. This course is for people who need to learn how to sell and how to sell and set up business. It will be thought provoking. This is also a good course for people with established businesses. Remember how I told you the people who had already businesses did extremely well. So go ahead, you know, if you have a business owner, if you go through, because 30 days to 2,500 is a long course. It's going to take you about two months to go through it, but it'll be well worth it because in these two months, you're going to learn stuff. It's going to open up your eyes. It's going to create new shifts in how you think and how you do business. All right. Uh, the seventh course will be asking for the money, how to be an Uber salesperson. Now, don't get this course unless you have something to sell. Just reading a book or reading a book about sales without having something to sell is a waste of time. You need to actually read about it and put this stuff into practice. And once again, uh, for all you folks who keep asking me about the Luponics book, I don't know the name. Can't remember the name of it. All I know is it had a red and black cover can't help you people keep like man it sounds dope what's the name i don't know the name man i don't know the name just had to put that out there all right and for the business owners this will be defined as people making money and paying their bills with the proceeds from the business you know if you got like a side business or something and this might be for you but this is for the business owners you should get the art of holding on how to set up your legal structure structure if you're a business owner making money you are a target and you will need to protect yourself now for the people who want to save some money i have a curated bundle with all the courses except the art of holding to get you started and get your business aspirations so this is the bundle that includes most of the courses there you go so if you are new to the channel and you're like hey where do i start that's the pathway that's the pathway to get started because from a foundational standpoint you need to establish the foundation before you get off into trying to start your business because like i said you know i, I got a ton of feedback from 30 days to 2500 and if I had been thinking, I would have did this like way sooner. But essentially taking those lessons derived from that course, you got people who are not mentally prepared to start a business. It's, it doesn't mean that they can't become mentally prepared. It's just a process. It's going to take them a little time to, you know, like you got kids. All kids don't learn at the same rate. You got some kids who learn slower, and but they can still get there. And essentially, this is what, you will be going through with the foundational courses they will help you get your mind right this will help you get your mind right
the DSL Chronicles. Hell yeah, they ain't gonna buy people. I mean, seriously, I I, I pretty much ignore those folks because I've been down that path before. Typically, the people who like, I want this course, I want this course, I want this course, and who want to talk to me. Uh, the number one reason that people want to talk to me is to get permission to do what they think they want to do. This like, well, if Glendon thinks this is cool. No, you, you need to give yourself permission. You need to validate yourself. You need to um, believe in yourself. Mike Ellie, this ain't no theory. This ain't no theory, man. These courses have come from my business experience. There is no theory here. Let's see. Anthony Johnson, me and my cousin got busy today. We had a hard time starting that generator. It wouldn't start for our mobile watch, but we strung it together. Made a hundred bucks for a few hours. See, once you go through this transformation, once you get that first good sale, that first load of money, it becomes addictive. It becomes very addictive. Now, what I'm going to do for the, you know, starting next week, there's going to be a lot of new training. So I'm going to do a video probably Sunday or Monday talking about the new training and how you can get a hold of that. Now, if you have never started a business, this stuff is good for you, especially 30 days to 2,500. And the money management course, I've heard, got a lot of feedback from that. People like it. It has helped them manage their finances because here's the thing. If you go ahead and start making a lot of money with your bad money management habits right now, it's the money's just, you're not going to get the best use of the money. You, you need to learn how to hold on to money. And this is what the course teaches you. So, you know, next week we will get into um, the, the new stuff. But the new stuff will build on this. It won't be the same information. It'll be new information and more of it for business owners. I don't really have a lot of courses for business owners other than the art of holding maybe 30 days to 2500 and asking for the sale those are only courses for business owners uh, a lot of this stuff is side hustle stuff uh beginning business person so once again just go ahead you know if you're brand new to the channel you just found this welcome thank you appreciate you um this is what we're going to do. Michael Gardner. So it's true. This guy I'm working for in real estate made like 15 K and spent it all. People that thirst, you know, that, that, that thirst is a big, big problem. That build up thirst of you wanting stuff. You want to live a certain lifestyle. Once again, the money management course will help you with that. Let's see where we are. Cool. Because what I, this is going to be a very short live stream because I'm going to take it down and I'm going to put it at the end of all the newer videos. So people who are coming into the fold, you know, the new folks, because it's got a lot of new folks. I get, you know, emails and stuff like, hey, Glendon. Man, I'm really excited. I like what you're saying. But where do I start? This is where you start. Okay. So all of the information is below. You can start with your first five foundational courses. Then start going wild on the other stuff. And very soon I will have some new information that will build on these principles that will take you to the next level. So with that, I will see you guys later.